All right, guys, I'm gonna try and make this short and sweet and help you guys understand what is happening to the motorsports industry. All right, so the gist of the story is, in around 2015, the EPA came out and said that the Clean Air Act, which is a law that defines modern emissions and what you can and can't do with your vehicles, the EPA came out and said, that Clean Air Act actually allows us to enforce against people who are modifying the emissions of their street cars, cars that were intended for the street, and that we cannot modify our cars and that people cannot manufacture parts for our cars that change the emissions, even if we're using them as race cars. Now, just for a little bit of background, the Clean Air Act has been around since 1970, and they just in 2015 said that they're allowed to interpret it this way. Now, what I'm talking about today is the RPM Act, and the RPM Act says no, the EPA cannot interpret the Clean Air Act in that way. Now we are allowed to modify our street vehicles, cars, trucks, motorcycles. And what we need you guys to do is go to the link in my description, which is sema.org slash EPA news. And there is a form that you guys can fill out. All you have to do is put in your name and information based off of your information that sends a message to your US representative. And, and all these guys in the government care about is numbers. The more people that we have backing this up, the more people they see, the more messages they get is how we get their attention and get them to pass this bill. So the RPM Act has been introduced to our government before, but it is now being reintroduced and has a bill number because earlier this year we had over 1.1 million people reach out through this same very link that I'm telling you about below. So now we need as many people as we can to go onto this website fill out this same form with their name and information and it already has the message right now and all you have to do is hit send and it's going to send another massive wash of messages to the people in our government who can get this bill passed for us because essentially if we let the EPA keep doing what they're doing they're going to put a stop to motorsports altogether to where we cannot modify the emissions on any streetcars, period. I know there's a lot of people who have opinions about the RPM Act and what it's actually saying and doing, but it is for sure 100% our best fight against the EPA. If you guys could just please take a minute, check out the links in my description below. You can read all about the RPM Act and the Clean Air Act. I'm just giving you guys the core of the information that I think you need to know, but there is so much more information out there about what's going on with the EPA, the Clean Air Act, and the RPM Act. And I hope you guys can take some time to check it out. Links are in the description, thanks.